how are you i welcome you all in chemistry online class in this pandemic situation we hope our we try our best to give you a something which is very important for your upcoming hsc exam in your hsc exam you know organic chemistry or organic compound is an important chapter from second paper which is second chapter so today i discuss with you about some question from some cq or some creative question from this chapter let's start the class now i discuss with you another creative question my creative question is uh, this is you know this is phenol this is phenol when it reacts with zinc uh, then it forms b uh, here actually 400 degrees celsius temperature is used you know when phenol uh, reacts with zinc presence of 400 degrees celsius then here the product is benzene so here b is benzene uh, now this is sodium benzoate when it reacts with soda lime then also benzene is formed and this is a which is c and h2 and minus 2 and here n equal to 2 so you know when we put n equal to 2 here then the pro uh, a will be c2 h2 uh, so it is a when it reacts with iron in pre uh, at 400 degrees celsius temperature then it is also formed benzene now this benzene when react with methyl chloride in presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride then the product will be toluene so this is our toluene which is uh, c again uh, this benzene when react with uh, so it is toluene uh, when this benzene reacts with nitric acid in presence of sulfuric acid then it forms a uh, nitrobenzene so this is nitrobenzene and this is our d and its name is nitrobenzene now the question is in first question write the mechanism which take place when c and d are formed from b that means when toluene and nitrobenzene formed from b number two write the equation which take place when glyoxal is formed from b that means when benzene formed glyoxal number c explain the reactivity of b c and d in electrophilic substitution reaction so students let's start the answer of this question so students when actually benzene from toluene then fidel craft alkylation reaction and when benzene from nitrobenzene then also uh, nitration reaction takes place uh, this type of reaction uh, the mechanism is uh, like same uh, so first of all i discuss with you about fidel craft alkylation reaction you know this fidel craft alkylation reaction takes place in presence of uh, anhydrous aluminium chloride and here methyl chloride will react with benzene so uh, I, I have written the reaction here so first of all i discuss with you about uh friedel craft alkylation reaction so friedel craft alkylation reaction this reaction takes place when b turn to c alkylation in this friedel craft alkylation reaction in first step in first step uh, methyl chloride reacts with aluminium chloride so CH3Cl reacts with aluminium chloride and form and form positive uh, carbon center that means here this chlorine is received by aluminium chloride and form a positive uh, carbon center that means carbocation so carbocation plus Al Cl4 minus. Now this positive carbon center or carbocation attack this benzene ring. So in step two, step two, this carbocation attack the benzene ring. So in benzene, this is benzene. It is attacked by the carbocation. That means CH3 plus. Actually, here one hydrogen is present. So, it attacks this carbocation, attacks this benzene ring and form an unstable or a compound, an unstable uh, positive carbon center in benzene. So, it will be like that. And uh, here, 
H and CH3 is present. So in my first step, when CH3Cl reacts with aluminum chloride, then it forms electrophile. This electrophile act as benzene and form a positive carbon center, which is known as carbocation. Now, in this car positive carbon center, that means in this positive benzene, AlCl4 minus is attached. So here it is step three. In third step, uh, this one is attacked by AlCl4 minus. So this one is attacked by AlCl4 minus. AlCl4 minus and and form product. So it is received by this AlCl4 minus and form product. So this is benzene and here CH3 will join. So it is toluene and this H joined with Cl and form HCl and aluminium chloride. So this is the mechanism which takes place when toluene is formed from benzene. Now let's discuss about the mechanism which takes place when benzene is converted to nitrobenzene. Students, you know, when benzene converted to nitrobenzene, the nitration mechanism takes place. So in nitration mechanism, first of all, in first step, HNO3, that means nitric acid, reacts with sulfuric acid. Nitric acid reacts with sulfuric acid and forms first of all student you know nitric acid and sulfuric acid both are acid but here concentrated sulfuric acid is used concentrated in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid nitric acid here works as base so it receives proton from h2so4 and convert the h2so4 to bisulfate ion then this proton will join with the oh minus of nitric acid and form water in this way nitronium ion is formed this nitronium ion works as electrophile in this reaction so in this reaction first of all this one works as base and this one works as acid so it, re it releases one proton which is received by this nitric acid and form nitronium ion. Nitronium ion. This one is actually the electrophile and form water and HSO4 that means a bisulfate ion. Now in step 2, in step 2, this nitronium ion attack the benzene. So here benzene is present. Then it is a uh, real one hydrogen is also present and it is attacked by the electrophile nitronium ion and form a positive carbon center. Positive carbon center. So here H and NO2 both are present. Now this positive carbon center is attacked by the bisulfate ion present in step 1. So in step 3. Step 3, this positive carbon center is attacked by bisulfate ion. So, here positive uh, carbon center and it is attacked by the bisulfate ion. And here, this hydrogen is received by bisulfate ion and form nitrobenzene nitrobenzene and sulfuric acid so this is the way uh, by which benzene is converted to nitrobenzene now come to second question students our second question is write the equation which take place when benzene converted to glyoxal so you know benzene is converted to glyoxal in ozonolysis reaction so you have written here the ozonolysis reaction of benzene so here i have taken benzene you know in benzene alternate double bond is present so here alternate double bond when it reacts with uh, ozone as here three double bond is present so three moles of ozone is also required then this ozone react individually that means one ozone molecule react with one double bond so the product will be like this will be like this uh, it is ch CH and these are uh, the one ozone molecule then CH CH here another 
ozone molecule is present so uh, so another ozone molecule is present here and here another one is present in this way three ozone molecule is joined with benzene now in presence of zinc and water uh, it is it will be broken so if it is broken it will be like this uh, it will be like this then uh, it is also here then here also it is broken so you have seen when it is broken it is like that so from each part you have seen that CHO and CHO is present that means you have three CHO bond that means three glyoxal molecules are present so the product will be product will be 3 CHO single bond CHO which is known as glyoxal then uh, this oxygen is reacts with zinc and form zinc oxide and H2O2 so in this way we can form glyoxal from benzene now come to next question students our next question is in electrophilic substitution reaction between B and C which one is uh, what is the order of reactivity? You know here uh, CH3 group is present and here nitro group is present and in benzene no group is present. Uh, CH3 group is a reactivity group. That means if it presents in benzene then it will deliver or it will do donate electron to benzene ring which, uh, which increase the reactivity of benzene ring. But nitro group is a deactivating group. In presence of nitro group, it, it, it accepts electron from benzene ring. So the density of electron will decrease in benzene. That's why the electrophile will not attack easily in nitrobenzene. That means the reactivity of uh, benzene or nitrobenzene is decreased. So let's discuss this by giving the resonance. First of all, when we take toluene. You know, benzene, a special character of benzene that it gives resonance. It gives resonance. So, for in toluene, what happened in toluene? In toluene, this is our question number three. The resonance will be like that. Uh, this is toluene. This is toluene. Now, it donates electron to benzene ring. So, comes here and it comes here and it will be like this. These two bond are present in the same time. The upper side. Now, this bond rotate here and this one is rotate here so the product will be the product will be like that then this bond is rotate here this one is rotate here so the product is now this one is rotate here and this one again goes there so the product is this is the five resonance structure of toluene this one two three four and five in this five resonance structure you have seen that here methyl donates electron to benzene ring that's why in at ortho and para position the density of electron increase that's why electrophile easily attack in this position and reactivity of toluene is increased but this is not happened for nitrobenzene. So what happened for nitrobenzene? Let's look, have a look on this. In nitrobenzene, 
what happened in resonance structure so this is our nitrobenzene you know oxygen is electronegative so it attracts the bond electron to itself that's why the nitro group attracts the electron to itself from benzene ring that means what happened here so what happened here now this bond is rotate here and our second structure is like that Now, this bond is rotate here. So, what happened? Now, this one will come and this one again goes there. So it will be like this. So these are five resonance structure for nitrobenzene. I put here number it's one, two, three, four, and five. So students, what you have seen? You have seen that in this five resonance structure, we have seen that nitro group attracts electron from benzene ring. That's why at ortho and para position, the density of electron is totally decreased. Actually, when nitro group is present, then electrophile is not joined at this position. And as it attracts electron from benzene ring, that's why its reactivity is also decreased. So, uh, between toluene and nitrobenzene, nitrobenzene is less reactive than toluene. So, what happened about the order of reactivity of benzene, toluene and nitrobenzene? So, the order of reactivity of benzene, toluene and nitrobenzene is like that. First of all, toluene, then benzene, then nitrobenzene. As here, uh, uh, reactivating, deactivating group is present for this, uh, sorry, activating group is present. So, it activate or increase the reactivity of toluene. That's why its reactivity is increased. Here, no reactivating or deactivating groups are present. That's why its reactivity is remain the same. But here, nitro group is present, which is a deactivating group. So, its reactivity will decrease. That's why uh, toluene is more reactive between benzene and nitrobenzene. And benzene is more reactive than nitrobenzene. Hope all of you are clear about the answer of this question. Because this is the most important question on the aromatic part of organic compound. So, students must have a uh, careful look on this question. Okay? Okay, students. No more today. Hope all of you are clear about this creative question. Practice this question and the mechanism which is related in this question more and more in-house. Because this type of mechanism is important for your HSC exam. Remain safe and remain home. But be careful about your study and about your health also. Goodbye.